Good morning, everybody. Just here hanging out. Um, let's uh, let's do some things real quick. Hey, Sunil. Sunil. Sorry if I get that wrong. Hard to. Sometimes it's hard to pronounce names for me. Glad that you dropped by. We're just hanging out this morning. Not really doing much of anything. Um, thinking about starting to do this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning. If you're interested in that. I recommend anything. Um, let's see here. What what do I use right now? Right now I use katanas. Um, I use red katanas right here. These are, I'm really liking these. Um, also recommend dragon shields dragon shields are really good i think katanas are better though they uh you get a hundred of them and they're uh cheaper but they last just as long Shields. Dragon shields are really good. I think katanas are better though. They uh, you get a hundred of them, and they're uh, cheaper. Anything in here I want? They last just as long. Boss's orders for a bunch of stuff. No, thank you. I have all of these things. Don't need any more. Already trade away a bunch of packs for it.
Yeah, no, totally. Um, honestly, I prefer, I believe I prefer the katanas over the dragon shields. I've played with both, and uh, katanas just seem to shuffle better. They're, they're kind of slicker, so they're easier to go with. But yeah, it's really up to you, preference-wise. Um, dragon shields also feel really well, but they just, I don't feel like they shuffle quite as well as katanas do. Really? Trading these three things for a boss's order. No, thank you. Is there anything on here I might would want? Rebel Clash for a boss's order? That's probably actually a good trade. I don't know, but it probably is. I need to set up, that's something I forgot, I need to set up chat on the, I'll have to figure that out on the next one, set up chat on the screen. KMC Hypermat? I'm not sure I know what that is. Like, Hypermat as in, is that the feel or the texture? What, what, what is KMC? I don't know what KMC is. I don't think anything in here I'm just willing to trade for. Eight Sword and Shield for Giovanni. Probably not bad either. Especially if you pull a uh, Zacian out of the eight packs. Whole bunch of stuff here for a to Dene, that is not worth it. Let's see what we got on down here. Burning Scar for a Welder. Two Welders. Four Burning Scar for two Welders. That might be worth it. I'm not sure. Pikachu and Zekrom for four Sword and Shield. I'm not going to play Pick a Rom deck, so I'm going to go ahead and take that. Let's go for packs in standard. I'm getting packs. Yeah, let's do that. We vow GX for a Rebel Crash. Negative three for one unified mines. No, I'm good. Negative two for a bunch of energy and a Rebel Clash. No. No, thank you. Marnie, a couple Marnies for two. Sure, I'll take that trade. I'm only using Marnies a lot. A Dedene for 40 Rebel Clash? Hmm. Oh no, seven Rebel Clash, 10 Unbroken Rods, and 10 Team Up. And then a whole bunch of other junk. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I only have one to donate either, and I'm not, I don't need to get rid of it. Give me just a second here. Two and Mew for seven cosmic now. Seven. So it looks like they're going for about seven Rebel Clash right now. That's not bad. It means I traded good when I did. I traded a bunch of useless packs for it. No, I'm not getting rid of a Jirachi. I need those. 
Greninja and Zorark for two Cosmic Eclipse? No, thank you. No, thank you. My cargo for a couple of forbidden lights. What do we got here? Two for 17. Well, that's better than, uh, that's better than the two packs I've seen, no, the two trades I've seen before, this over double. Well, I, I don't understand people that make this trade right here. I want to try to make this trade. These energies, that's just, no. No, no, no. Blacephalon, five forbidden light, no thank you. A Weavile, a couple Cosmics, no. Let's scroll on down here. Let's get more towards the better. Better trades are usually at the bottom. What is this? Tadene? No. I need my Tadene. One Marnie for Sword and Shield? Sure. I'm not ever going to play more than one or two Marnies. If I do, I'll just trade for it bag later. <coughs> Four Cherish Ball. Nah, I may need those. Um, Reshizard for Unified Minds. No. Mewtwo. Where'd that Mewtwo go? Here we go. Two Rebel Clash, two Ziggs of the Goon, and one of Beast Springer. I think I'll pass on that. I don't think I'm ever going to play a Mew Mewtwo deck, but I haven't made up my mind yet, and I just pulled the other one. Just, just liked it. Just the other day. Unified Minds. No. Sword and Shield for one Rebel Clash. They're trying to trade three to one. Now that deal, I think I'll take. That seems pretty good. Mewtwo gets infinitely worse just as soon as rotation happens. Yeah, how damage counters work. You mean as... So, damage counters and damage are two different things. Damage is what a Pokemon does when it attacks. Damage counters can be placed onto a Pokemon. Say Zigzagoon, Galarian Zigzagoon, when you place it down on the field, it does ten dam it does one damage counter to one of your opponent's Pokemon. That will get around something that says prevents damage from attacks because that's damage from an ability. It's placing a damage counter, it's not placing damage. So what exactly do you need to know? What's confusing you? I only have one Victini. I think I'll hang on to that. No, that is not a good trade. I was lucky and pulled an Eldegoss. This made me very happy. Yeah, so if you're uh, if you're playing, you know, Zigzagoon or whatever, and you've got the the bench barrier Mew on the field, and your opponent plays the Zigzagoon, that damage will still go through, because it's not damage from an attack; it's damage counters being placed on the Pokemon. Skateboard. Negative four skateboard. Negative four electro power for one sword shield. Is that a bad trade? Skateboard rotates out and I think Electro Power does too. No, you're fine. I didn't start playing, I don't know, four years ago. I'm 29 now, so I've, I've had to learn quite a bit. Let's see, if I trade this away, it gives me three, four, five locked. Sure, I will accept that trade. I'm just, I'm just looking for packs here. The more packs I get, the more I can uh, trade around. Yeah, asking, asking a lot of people on YouTube is hard. A lot of people don't respond. They're either busy or they just simply don't check their... Um, 
they don't check their messages at all. I try to respond to everyone. I want to start doing these uh, live streams in the morning like this to like help the community, help you guys out, and also just hang out and get to know you guys a little bit better. I want to try to start doing it Monday morning, Wednesday morning, and a Friday morning for maybe an hour or so. And I think I'll pass on that. Rayquaza for Unified Minds, no. Ultra Necrozma for a Sword and Shield. I will pass on that too. I may need those Ultra Necrozma. I will trade across that Bocephalon for Rebel Clash though. I do not play Bocephalon and I do not have the money to dump into building the deck. Scroll on down here. Let's see what we can find down here at the lower ends of the of the time. If you ever want to find better deals on trade, it's always best to get the hours and the minutes up to pretty high. The higher you go, that's the sooner the trades were listed. Looks like Marnie is actually doing pretty good. Keldeo V for Hidden Fates? No. Jirachi Giratina for Celestial Storm? Do I want Celestial Storm? No. No, I do not. Heatran McCargo for one Rebel Clash, not three. See, you have to look at those. Because I would trade it for three. Another one of those deals. Another one of those deals. No, this is a bad trade. Right you, right you. Hmm. Weave all GX for a Rebel Clash and a Sword and Shield. Oh, oh, where'd it go? Two Rebel Clash. One Rebel Clash. One Rebel Clash and one Sword and Shield. Well, I would think I would like to have two Rebel Clash, please. There we go. Let's do, let's do Lysander. Just search something random. Or not. Let's do Sycamore. Maybe I don't know how to spell Sycamore. What does this do? Not sure what that does. Okay, let's try. Um, Marnie is well, or Marnie is a good card. Don't get me wrong. And yes, Zigzagoon. It's amazing with Zigzagoon. I actually have a video out with Zigzagoon as, uh, or Goons is one of my top three decks that's uh, good with. Uh, as a baby deck, you know. No, I need. I may need those ball canyons at some point. Zigzagoon is a good card, though. Mhm. Mm Let's see here. Anything interesting? And go and Emmet for a Sword and Shield. Hyper Rare. I will accept that trade because I will never play Ingo and Emmet. Especially now that um, Professor Juniper, not Juniper, Magnolia, Professor's Research is out. And I'm not about collecting Hyper Rares on, uh, online. I'll collect them in real life, but not online. Let's see what we got up here. Keep scrolling. See, here's one guy trading one Rebel Clash for one boss's orders. Will of Gaul is going to get 17 for two. So I probably should have taken that deal and then went for my chances on pulling the two out of the 17. 
But if I did that and they weren't there, then I would have been in trouble. See, see, here's the same guy probably trading one Rebel Clash for two Sword and Shield. Yeah, no, thank you. Torkoal V. Plus a Keldeo V for one Lost Thunder. No. No way. No way. Not happening. Let's see here. Mechcar. No, that's a Dene. Cargo. Yeah, see, here's this trade again. We already looked at that one. So these were not past where we were earlier. Weavile. Don't play Weavile. Tapu Coco Prism. My cargo for Sword and Shield. Mm, no, I'm not getting rid of my Orange Gurus. Probably don't need to get rid of my cargos either. I do like the deck. It's a fun deck. Card chopping Giratina for a Sword and Shield. Well, I am never going to play this deck. I, I don't care for this deck at all. So let's accept that trade. Let's do something else here. Let's try this. Instead of me just accepting everyone else's, let's create a trade. So if everybody's looking for this, they can uh, go right at it. Go get it if you want it. Sword and shield. I'll just go with sword and shield. Looks like I don't really have a lot to give away anymore. Hmm. And then let's create another one just like it. What deck is in the current meta? And hi, how are you doing? Let's see here. Current decks are Zacian ADP, Ability Zard, Obstagoon, Chinchino Mill, um, my cargo mill. There's a few of them that are in the current meta. Let's look up Limitless and let's just go over them real quick. Let's just drag this over here. Let me create a new window here in OBS. Let's do this right here first though. Let's create a new window in OBS. Display, yes. Yeah, I want that one. That'll work. Yeah, here we are. Over here on Limitless uh, TCG. So you come right over here to Tournaments, and in their qualifiers, we can see exactly what was the best uh, decks. So it looks like we have a Welder Box here. This one's a little bit different. I haven't seen this one before. I just watched it earlier in a video. Three Jirachis, three Dedenes. It's not playing any Reshiram and Charizard. It's got Heatran, Cramorant for sniping, Blocephalon for Mind Blow, um, one Victini, one Victini V, one Oracorio GX. This card right here is broken. You know, and then your standard welders and stuff. So I would say this is pretty meta. I've thought for a while now that um, Reshiram and Charizard just wasn't viable anymore. It lost too much going into it. Lost it. Once Choice Band went away, it just took too much to hit, and now that we got Boss's orders and stuff out, it's just it's just too much for it. It's just too much. Let's uh let's redo this real quick. Hang on, let's add another scene, scene three, and then let's add display capture, yes and yes. And then let's go ahead and add a video capture. Yes, I would love to use my webcam, please. Or not. Okay. Okay. Guess you don't get a webcam on this. But if we go back here, there it is. All right. Um, 
Yeah, Reshazard is good. Don't get me wrong. But between Welder... So, in my opinion on Fire Dex, as far as Welder goes, is it's going to fall out of favor a lot. And the reason for that is, is you can't Welder and Boss's Order in the same turn. So I don't think it's going to be able to hold up. It only hits 230 damage, which while that is very good, it's not enough to knock out anything that's not weak to it. You know, it hits a Zacian, but if they put a metal frying pan on, then uh, you can't knock it out, and there's no, there's not enough damage modifiers to even, to even get there. So, I don't think it's, I just don't think it's going to be good. Looks like Malamar Mewtwo came in second, which is cool. This deck is going to rotate out very soon. Plays the Malamar line, Mewtwo, and Mew. Dedenne, Trevenor, a little bit of hand disruption. This is, this is a good card. Naganadal GX, Naganadal GX, Ditto, Absol. You know, all the standards out of there. It's just really hard to... Um, it's just really hard to keep um, Reshazard up there on the top. Because he gets one-shotted by so many things, but then it can't dish out that same amount of damage. So why not go with Heatran? Does less damage. But uh, you're only losing two prices instead of three, so they got to take three knockouts. See, here's a Chinchino Mill. Four Mencino, four Chinchino. Nope, oh, didn't be clicking on that. Let's go back. There we go. One my cargo for that extra mill. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big fan on Rush's art anymore. It was better when Kiawe was in the format. Don't get me wrong. Looks like a Zassian ADP did make it into this top. With that, uh, I think it made it into top five, which is kind of surprising. I figured it'd be coming first or second. Here we go. Three Jirachis. Don't want to listen to you, Ad. Go away. So, yeah. Four Metal Saucer, full Custom Catcher. Of course, a lot of this is going to change. Custom catchers will be dropped out for uh, mill decks are insanely aggravating. <laughs> <coughs> they are fun, though. They are fun. Baby Blue Cephalon still out there getting it. Three Jirachi. Cramorant is still a good card. Being able to discard three and do 160 damage anywhere you want. Tapu Fini GX is not legal in standard. It's legal in expanded. Hey, you're welcome. You're welcome, man. Whatever I can do to help. I want to try to start live streaming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning like this to... Uh, yeah, I'll just connect with you guys and see what uh see what's up and just hang out and have fun. Just go over things like this and just just look at stuff. Look at here, here's a new one. Behem and Savali. That's Happy Feeny is a pretty good card, but it's uh it's been outstripped by other water attackers. Mr. Mime, he's playing Magic Evens and Magic Odds. No way. Okay, so we got Behem. This one is for the triple acceleration energy. It does 90 damage, and then your uh, opponent can't play any item cards. Then you shuffle this thing back into the deck. Type Null. That's just for to evolve into the Silk Valley for disc reload. This allows you to uh, draw until you have five, five cards in your hand once during your turn. And then we have one of the other Silk Valleys that allows you to uh, retreat basics. Or your basics have no retreat cost. Mr. Mime evens. You can't uh, be hurt by anything with damage that does uh, well, what looks like 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, you know, so on and so forth, up to 100, or up to 260. And uh, magic odds is the same thing, only it's odds, of course, instead of evens. That's the first time I've ever seen these played. So, pretty cool. One ditto, one Gumi. And one Mew. 
let's copy this and then let's go over to PTCGO and let's see if I have the stuff to build it <laughs> Tapu Coco we talking about Tapu Coco GX because I was the same way when I first started I was like man Tapu Coco GX is just busted and it really is but only only if you play it in the right way as a deck on its own it's not that great let's see if I have enough to well thanks I appreciate that yeah I'm trying to I want to I want to try to connect with you guys um, I'm not a not really comfortable live streaming but I want to uh, I want to connect with you guys I want to know what y'all are thinking and seeing and you know I, I, I realize I put out videos but I don't really communicate I, I want to do like uh, stories and stuff like that that y'all can interact with on YouTube but they won't let me do that until a thousand subscribers so it's gonna take a while before I get there yeah Tapu Coco is per still pretty good but it's you can only play it and expand it now It's big thing was his GX attack. His GX attack was good. Okay, so I don't have. <coughs> Looks like I don't have the Savalis or the magic odds. Or is that evens? It is evens. So I've got everything but that. Let's see about trainers. Uh, missing a chaotic swell, it looks like. <laughs> and, and funny enough, I'm Marnie because I just traded it away. <laughs> That figures. And then it just plays the four triple acceleration energy. So that's that's not bad. I'll see if I can get my hands on Savalis. Yes, I would love to tag those as wanted. Let's see here. What is the name of this deck? Let's pull up that. What did it say? Behem Savali is all it says. Okay. Well, uh, I guess I'll name it that. Behem. Oh, it's just one M. Sil. I don't know how to spell Savali. Let's see, where's it at here? Savali. There we go. Behem Savali. Save. I know it's invalid. No, no, Tapu Lele GX is out of standard. It is in expanded. And yes, it was very good. I enjoyed it immensely. Yeah, Greninja GX on its own, it's just not really that good of a deck. Shintaro Ida made a interesting one out of Greninja and the Meganium that allows you to evolve straight away, but it's it's really hard to play and it's it's honestly it's it's janky. You may or may not have any success with it. Let's see here. I will be right back. Just give me like two seconds and. Uh, I think we'll jump into a uh, actual tournament. Obviously, I'm back. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do an event here.
close this down, pull this up. There we go. Yeah. Rubble Clash. Okay. I was like, what does RCL stand for? But I guess Rubble. Rebel Clash is what it stands for. Yeah, let's do that one. New cards from the newest set. Okay, okay. Can't do that yet. Alright, let's go into Deck Manager. And let's come back down here to... You know what? I don't want to play without the new cards from the new set. Let's just go into Versus. So... How's the stream looking, guys? Is it looking good? Everything coming through clear and nice? If not, let me know. Want to make it nice and clean and clear. Magic is fun, Sal. I've just recently started playing Commander. But it's not Pokemon. So I lost that coin flip. Man. <laughs> Buzzmosa deck. No, I do not. I haven't played Buzzmosa in a long time. You talking about the one with the, just the four four Buzzmosas in it? Nothing else? Let's hope I talk de top deck either a Quick Ball or a Charmander here. Although it would seem he had a slow start himself. Hey, look at there. Charmander. Then let's weld her straight onto that booger. There we go. Nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and Stellar Wish looking for a rare candy. And we got it. And then we will pass turn. Yeah, no, I haven't played that deck in quite a while. That deck was only good for very few months. Okay, if he doesn't do anything else here, we're going to have knockout on that Zacian. Even if he does do something, even if he retreats. We've got bosses. Oh, Marnie. No. No. This is why Marnie's good. Nah. That is not good for me. I should have attached that escape board. I should have known. So we need a rare candy and a Charizard now. Hey, there's that skateboard. So that's good. Let's go ahead and start powering up this guy. Um, we'll attach this here and then we'll just go ahead and Cynthia to get those six new cards. Hmm. Let's play Giant Hearth. Discard the scoop up net and grab a couple fire energies just for a little bit of less digging with Stellar Wish here. <coughs> Sorry about that. Got a little bit of cough going on here. Ordinary rod switch. Just nothing good here. Okay, let's just let's just leave it at that. He's gonna get knocked out, but if he doesn't have bosses or orders, I'll have a Rosa to respond with. Pokemon catcher, so there's that. Go ahead. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I another Marnie? Give me a break. I really need that Rosa. Ah. <sighs> Well, I got the Quick Ball and the Charmander, but not really doing much else. If I could top deck a Welder, I could get a knockout with Turtonator. I'm playing a Dragon, a Dragon deck. That's what I'm going with right now on uh, Magic. But yeah. Okay, let's see here. Let's go ahead and discard a Fire Energy and grab two more. Let's Quick Ball. For this Oracorio. Let's go ahead and quick ball again and get out a Jirachi. Let's go ahead and bench that. And then we will Oracorio. We need a Charizard here. 
or a welder. I'm sorry, not a Charizard. No. Okay, we can switch into Jirachi. Still our wish. Mmm. Let's grab that. And then grab the Charizard. Now, we're going to go ahead and evolve here, hoping that he doesn't have boss's orders in hand. Also played Dragon Ball Super. I don't know if y'all have seen any of my videos on YouTube about it. On, I guess on here, actually. But yeah, play Dragon Ball Super. It's a lot of fun as well. The artwork in Dragon Ball Super card game is amazing. So he's got a Dedenne here. Probably looking for that boss's orders. What did he throw away? Cherish Ball, Metal Saucer. Oh, wow. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Did he get it? Probably. If he did, I think I've seen out. I think I'm out of it. Frying pan? Well, that's not good. That takes out the one shot factor. If I can grab a boss's orders, though, then I can knock out that one on the bench. That would be amazing. Gonna switch into Jirachi. Need to start playing Tool Scrapper in this deck. No, another one. Man. Oh, actually, I guess that's good for me. I had bad hand, bad debt. Nope. There goes the other frying pan. I am not playing Tool Scraper. So, what I can do is I can evolve this guy. Hmm. I'm not actually sure what I can do here. I can do this, I guess. Let's go ahead and drop an energy to grab two more. Thin that deck a little bit. Let's go ahead and attach this one here. Let's go ahead and Roaring Resolve. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I totally just blew this game if I get a welder off of this. Zacian? You get to draw three cards at the, at the end of your turn. I am not drawing good this game. I don't think I have this no matter what. And then it does like 230 damage. It's crazy for three metal energy, which you can get on there easy with its Intrepid Sword. It allows you to attach any metal energy you find and the other cards you put into your hand. Shuffle two Jirachis and two Fire Energies back into the deck. And then we'll just shuffle up with Cynthia. There's not much else I can do. Well, there's a the boss's boss's orders for next turn. Let's bench the Jirachi. Let's see. Oh, of course he does. Okay. Okay. Hey, we'll see you later. Have fun. Not sure I could even win this now. I think I'm too far behind. Yeah, I definitely got the switch here. Don't think I can do this. I just think I'm too far behind. Even with the Rosa, it's just not enough. 
It's just not enough. I'm just going to concede this one. Let's move on to the next one. I think I'm too far behind. I think he's already run through too many of my resources. Me trying to keep up. So. Not much I can do about that. So if we're going against a fire and a metal. Another loss for me. Am I going first or second? Your choice. And I go first. Ooh. That is not a good hand. Three Zards in a hand like that. I do get a mulligan draw, though. It needs to be a quick ball or a charmillion. Looks like we were going up against Cinderace. Probably Cinderace V. <coughs> Yes, I would love to draw a card. Mawile. Search your deck for Pokemon, reveal it, and put it in your hand. Not bad. If this Pokemon is an the action spot and is damaged by discarding energy from the attacking Pokemon. Okay. I'm just going to send the other's whole hand back in because it's terrible. Okay. And I'm going to... I should scoop up net for game. <laughs> I should do that just to do it. Should I? Should I scoop up net and just lose this game right away? Because that would be... <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I play that card? Um, I'm going to do this before I do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> ah, sorry, man. I've already done it. <laughs> I couldn't resist the opportunity. I probably won't ever do that again. My uh, childishness came out in me there for a minute. <laughs> Let's go with heads this time. Of course, it's tails. That's three flips in a row I've lost. Uh, okay, okay, we'll jump right into this next game and actually play it. All right, let's see what we got here. Start out with Jirachi Quick Ball and Heat Factory. That's a pretty good start there. Means we're gonna have a. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, man. Nah, it's too late. I already did it. Inteleon. Okay, he's got weakness on me. Okay, let's play down that. Let's go ahead and Quick Ball away. Fire Energy. Getting out a Charmander. Looks like we got all of our Charmanders and Zards. We've got. All three rare candies. Got a bunch of energies. Only one welder in the deck. Or not deck, but in the... Means I got some in the uh, prize cards. One Rose is in there. One Boss's Orders. One's prize. And one Eldegoss. Okay. Looks good to me. And then we will draw three with Heat Factory. Go ahead and slap an energy on there. And then Stellar Wish. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie. I know, I know it's a little bit childish, but I, I did enjoy it. And then we'll grab another Charmander. There we go. And just do that. And heads. That's what? The first heads I've, I've got? Man, my nose itches. Ah! Don't you just hate that? <laughs> Someday I'm going to do that in real life. I'm just going to uh, play Scoop Up Net on turn one just to lose the game. Or at least lose the round. Let's see what this guy does. Snipe shot. This attack does 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Well, that's not good. Aqua report, 130. Your opponent reveals their hand. Okay. Not that they can do much to me. After Big Charm adds 30 HP. Okay, what is this guy? So he's now 230. Well, I can hit that with four energies, which is a Roaring Resolve and an Attachment. And I've got, I just need an energy and a rare candy. And then I've got that, so let's see. Are you going to get the retreat? Sycamore? Probably. He'll probably get a switch here. It's just too many cards. How does the stream look? Does it look alright? Sound okay? Video's okay? Sounds alright? Let me know. Yep, there's the switch. Okay, into Jirachi. Chaotic Swell, that's 
That's all right, I guess. I really want to get the extra draw from that, but if I can't, that's fine. Looks like we got a Jirachi and an Ordinary Rod. Okay. Not the stellar hand I wanted. We'll grab that. Awesome. Just recently upgraded my internet, so I'm wanting to start uh, you know, doing live streams like I've mentioned before. Let's play some tricks here. Let's see if I can get him stuck. Let's see what that does. If I can keep him from Jirachiing and stuff until I can get another boss's orders going. I'm effectively playing three. I've got two in deck and then I've got Eldegoss V. Well, technically four, because then I've got Ordinary Rod to put Eldegoss back in and draw it again for another boss's orders. He's going to research that entire massive hand away. Okay, looks like he's got boss's orders of his own. Probably at least two or three. Kind of sticking. Yeah, I saw that here on my, my little preview. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe my internet flickered for a minute. What did he play to get that out of the active? Oh, I think he just attached. Yeah, okay. So now we got VMAX. We got 350 HP. You may put an energy card attached to your po active Pokemon into their hand. Okay. Mm. Okay, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do? Let's just go ahead and still her wish. There's an escape board. I need some draw power. Need some draw power here. Probably should have done this right away. Let's do this. Grab the Elder Ghost. Play it. Get the boss's orders back. And let's bring, bring up that again. And then we'll play nothing. We'll just try to stick him again. Okay, mess with my bit rate a little bit. It may be a little bit high. Let's see. Let's turn it down to there. Apply. See what happens. Tell me if that makes it a little bit better. He's got the switch again, and this does 160. And 60 to one of my opponents benched, which, of course, gets him two prizes. Understand? I understand. Let's attach. Let's evolve. Let's welder. Let's energy recycle. Three and put them back in the deck. Let's also Roaring Resolve for two. I have no idea if this is enough damage, but we are going to go for it. We are going to go ahead and do this too. Don't know if it's enough, but we're going to go for it. Here's crossing our fingers. Oh, 380 is enough, but just barely. What is this? Okay, it looks like I've got a problem on my YouTube here. Let me see, let me 
PC. Okay, understand. Yes, stream health connection is poor. Okay, why is that? Why is that? So let's go back here. Let's turn this back up to that and apply. Okay, see what that does for it. Ooh, gonna Marnie me straight away. So he is at 300, 140 HP, 70. Okay, so 70 will be enough because I'm weak. But I will get a bunch of cards off of this lucky egg. Nice. All right. Let's put you in the active. Bench Charmanders. Right now I'm doing 180 with that. Go ahead and attach this. It's also Rosa. And grab a Jirachi, a rare candy, and an energy. Looks like I am out of energies in the deck, so that is not good. Let's go ahead and switch into Rodorachi. Stellar Wish. I need not that, but that will do. I really need to kill this thing before it gets out of hand. Let's see here. How many bosses orders has he played? Just one. So he's probably got another one in there. Hmm. 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 I don't know that we have this game. This does 40 damage to one of your opponents benched. Yeah, and then the VMAX does what, 60? Yeah. Okay, so they're going to knock out one of these. I know, I know, timer, I know. So we need to take a knockout now just to stay ahead in the prize race. Sure, let's go for it. Not sure that was the smart play. Turtonator, a little too late. 130. Yeah, they'll get the knockout. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know that I've got this. Don't know that I have this. Capacious bucket. Ooh, I didn't get anything. Don't know. Don't know that I've got it. Don't know that I've got it. He's going to take knockout here. No. No, he's not. He's almost going to take knockout here. Okay. All right. Have I played both my switches? I think I have, haven't I? No, I've only played one. Okay. So let's go ahead and evolve this guy. Mm. Oh, I've got game if I can hang on. I've got game if I can hang on. Let's recycle. No, I may have game now. Okay, so look, here's what I do. You roaring resolve, you grab two energies. That's 180. All right, and then you come up here and you roaring resolve and you knock yourself out. Yep, just like that. And you do not get any energies because you don't want them going to the discard. He'll take a prize. That's fine. I let him have it. Come on, take your prize. I've got this guy. Come on, please. Let me play this. Hey, he must have looked away from his computer for a second. Or maybe I've got a bad connection or something. Come on. I'm going to take a knockout on your Elder Ghost.
He is not wanting to. Uh... There he goes. There he goes. Okay, and then you put up Charizard and you play. Just go ahead and attach this last energy. And then you play Boss's Orders onto Elgusby. And then Continuous Blaze Ball. Four, 460 damage, taking that knockout. Thought he had me there for a minute. Thought he had me there for a minute. Hey, I've got 200 coins. Let's go grab a Rebel Clash. Looks like somebody traded. Grab a Rebel Clash and crack it open. Why not, right? Oh, where's it at? There it is. Probably get something good out of it because it's sealed. Or because it's locked, but you know, it's whatever. Darumaka. Tool Scraper. Need to add some of those in the deck. And... Ah, nothing good. Galarian Surfetched. It's alright. And then I guess my trays was complete? Oh, okay. Got a couple Sword and Shields and a Rebel Clash off those Greninjas. Cool. So, yeah. Well, anyway, that is it for my time today. That is what, been an hour or so? Yeah, I've got to actually go to work now, so got to get off of here. But we'll see you, um, maybe want to try again tomorrow morning, um, Saturday morning, if I get a chance. So we'll see you then or in the next video. I have a premiere video coming out at 11 Central Time, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. So if you want to check that out, that'd be awesome. Yeah, we'll see you in the next one.